Michael Burry is the investor whose story was made into the big short and one of the most famous investors to come out of the global financial crisis. He is best known for being among the first investors to predict and profit from the subprime mortgage crisis that occurred between 2007 and 2010. Michael Burry started the hedge fund Skyline Capital in 2000 and he quickly earned extraordinary profits for his investors. In 2001, which was his first full year, the S&P 500 fell 11.88% and Skyline was up 55%. The next year, the S&P fell 22.1% and Skyline was up 16%. In 2003, the stock market finally turned around and rose 28.69%, but Michael Burry beat it again with returns of 50%. By the end of 2004, he was managing $600 million and turning money away. And for those interested, Michael Burry said, all my stock picking is 100% based on the concept of margin of safety, which is built upon Benjamin Graham and David Dodd's 1934 book, Security Analysis. You might want to check that one out. And then in 2005, Michael Burry started to focus on the subprime market and he correctly predicted that the real estate bubble would collapse as early as 2007. This led him to short the market by persuading Goldman Sachs and other investment firms to sell him credit default swaps against subprime deals, which he saw as vulnerable. Michael Burry's analysis proved correct and he made a personal profit of $100 million and a profit for his remaining investors of more than $700 million. Skyon Capital ultimately recorded returns of $400 189.34% between its November 1st, 2000 inception and June 2008. The S&P 500 returned just under 3%, including dividends over that same period. Fast forward to 2008 and Michael Burry liquidated his Skyon Capital to focus on personal investment. Then in 2013, Burry reopened his hedge fund, this time called it Skyon Asset Management, filing reports as an exempt reporting advisor active in the state of California and approved by the SEC. Now you might think Skyon management is a huge hedge fund, but they only have four clients and discretionary assets under management of approximately $292 million that was invested in about 10 or 11 different securities, depending on the time frame you look at. But not everything has been a success for Michael Burry, and he lost his ass by shorting Tesla around December of 2020. Burry predicted Tesla stock would collapse like the housing bubble, saying that my last big short got bigger and bigger and bigger and taunted Tesla bulls to enjoy it while it lasts. In May of 2021, it was reported reported that he held puts on over 800,000 shares of Tesla. However, in October of 2021, after a 100% rise in Tesla stock value, he revealed he was no longer shorting Tesla. I wanted to give you the backstory on Michael Burry because he's made money hand over fist with his investments and he is one of the most followed hedge fund managers in the world. So yesterday, when news broke that Michael Burry dumped his entire portfolio and bought just one stock, it was the shot heard around the stock market world. Here's a look at Skyon Management's 13F form, which shows he sold all of his positions and bought $3.3 million worth of Geo Group, which oddly enough is a prison stock, and it jumped almost 12% yesterday based on Michael Burry buying the stock and this 13F report. But before we look at Geo, let's take a step back and look at the big picture. Let's start with a recent tweet from Michael Burry. NASDAQ now up 23% off its low. Congratulations, we now have the average bear market rally. Across 26 bear market rallies from 1929 through 1932 and 2000 to 2002, the average is 23%. After 2000, there were two 40% plus bear market rallies and one 50% rally before the market bottomed. I actually like this tweet because Michael Burry is correctly warning everyone that the NASDAQ being up 23% is statistically just the average bear market rally and that this could be what's called a bull trap. This is the exact same thing I warned about last week. And one thing that nobody is talking about is that Skyon Asset Management has only four clients and this makes it much tougher to get a read on the big picture. For all we know, maybe a few of the clients wanted to retire and cash out of their holdings, or maybe Michael Burry is simplifying his life with fewer holdings. My point is we simply do not know the intentions or reasons of Michael Burry and the four principles, so we should not jump to any wild conclusions. And the one thing I find really odd is that Michael Burry dumped his entire portfolio and went all in on the Geo Group, which is a prison stock. First, this leads me to believe he's not closing Skyon Asset Management since he opened a $3.3 million position in Geo. 
Taking a quick look at the Beast Mode scorecard, we can see Geo has a very marginal net profit margin of just 3.4%, which is rather pathetic for a company that was started in 1984. Their revenue growth was negative last year, and next year's forecast is a paltry 4%. Looking at their financials, the best thing is their book value is higher than their share value. There simply isn't too much to get excited about. And looking at the five-year chart, we can see Geo has dropped 70%. While it may have reached the bottom, the chart is pretty uninspiring. Whatever my Michael Burry sees in Geo, I simply do not. Second, if Michael Burry, who is known as the big short, dumped his portfolio and believes there is a crash coming, then why didn't he short the markets or Tesla or Kathy Wood's ARK Invest, which he has done in the past? If he really believes a crash is coming, then he should put his money in the short positions and make hundreds of millions or a quick billion dollars. But so far, we don't see the big short shorting anything. Now, I have a lot of respect for Michael Burry and his skills. He trained as a doctor and worked as a Stanford Hospital neurology resident and then left to start his own hedge fund that was very profitable and brought him immense fame and even a movie about his success. But having studied his success in life in detail, I found him to be more of a one or two hit wonder that was able to ride his fame and keep his name in the headlines by making a number of big predictions that often ended in disaster. Remember when he shorted Tesla? That didn't work out so well. Unfortunately, the stock market rewards predictions in an unfair manner and if you make 100 predictions and get 99 wrong but one is extremely profitable, you can ride that one into the sunset and everyone will forget the other 99. And while I respect Michael Burry, I do not put much faith into his predictions and take everything he does with a grain of salt. How about you? Are you going to dump your portfolio and load up on Geo? If you like Michael Burry, he's given you an easy blueprint to follow that anyone can do. Me, I'm going to keep on doing my own thing. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video on Michael Burry and it's been helpful. If it has, be sure to hit the like and subscribe. And if you'd like to receive all of my trade alerts, join our Discord community. You can also find all of my videos and stock indicators at jerryrollmine.com. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.